Tornado Alley lives up to its name with more than 100 reports of twisters in the latest outbreak. And it's not over yet. Find out where and when they could strike, it, strike again. Meantime, heavy rain and spring temperatures combined to melt the western snowpack, causing major flooding. We'll let you know what changes are coming straight ahead on Weekend Now. Hello and welcome to Weekend Now on this Memorial Day weekend. I'm Carl Parker. And I'm Ebony Dion. Thanks for joining us. It's been an active couple of days and there's no letting up in the forecast, unfortunately. Tornadoes hit parts of Kansas for a second night in a row last night. At least one house was destroyed, along with reports of widespread damage to farm buildings and power lines. More than 100 tornadoes have been reported nationwide since the beginning of the outbreak on Thursday. And here's a look at some of the states were involved. We're talking Wyoming through Colorado, much of Kansas, but even down into some northwestern areas of Oklahoma. So now let's get a check on what's happening now with Carl. Boy, that video is really terrifying, huh? Well, we're not seeing anything like that right now. But there certainly could be some severe weather this afternoon, especially up and down the 29 corridor right in here. And we'll talk about that outlook in a moment. Here you see the parent area of low pressure right through there. Cluster of storms developed right along that area of low pressure has since migrated now along towards the east, becoming its own entity. It's now what we call a mesoscale convective complex. And the thunderstorms continue to ride now into parts of Missouri and Arkansas, not nearly what they were yesterday. But certainly a lot of lightning here. We'll see occasional warnings, possible hail. This one pretty nasty looking cell that's now moving towards Batesville and will eventually make its way into the Jonesboro area. And more storms now across 540 and the Boston Mountains. Then more active weather into southern Missouri and across 44. Again, a lot of lightning within the line. It does generally seem to be calming down. But you are going to get some rain there in St. Louis. And you can extrapolate here. You can follow this. We've got about one hour's time right there between those two points. And so probably still about a few hours away from St. Louis and uh, do what you want to get done outside right now because it's going to be a wet afternoon. More strong storms across uh, parts of 35 in Kansas. This is an area that could light up a little bit more through the afternoon. But again, the primary area of concern is right down 29. Fargo getting down towards Sioux Falls, Lincoln and Omaha. That's where we could see quite a bit in the way of severe weather today. So here's your Saturday outlook. Severe weather anticipated in the areas indicated by that red shading. Pretty broad area being implicated north and south Dakota, down into Kansas City, as far south as Springfield as well, and again parts of Kansas here where we just saw the storms firing. So could be pretty busy through a lot of the day today. Here's the problem. There's an upper trough now beginning to come out. Moving into the middle of the country, we have some change of wind direction and speed with height. That shear can lead to strong supercell thunderstorms. And so that's going to be the problem in these areas. And keep that in mind up and down 29. 74 in Omaha, about 78 in Kansas City. It is going to be a beautiful day farther eastward, 68 degrees in Chicago. Enjoy it today because tomorrow it gets a little more active. We bring that chance of showers and storms to Chicago. We also find some very strong storms potentially from La Crosse down through Des Moines getting into tomorrow afternoon. Let's take you westward now. Here's Ebony. And that is where we're still dealing with flooding concerns here around Spokane, where the Spokane River continues to remain above flood stage. Now, it is expected to fall below by tomorrow, but that flood warning still persists throughout the day today into your Sunday. So really something to watch out for, especially getting out on the roadways. You definitely don't want to do what you just saw that driver doing and driving through these flooded roads. Turn around and find an alternate route just to be on the safe side. Well, what we're dealing with now, unfortunately, not not just Spokane seeing those flood warnings, but with the recent rainfall and the rain that's continuing to come down through the weekend, along with rapid snow melt, there are flood warnings and watches up all across parts of Montana and to Washington, and then also uh, as we get into the Dakotas as well. So really not seeing conditions improving too much here. Now, as far as the unsettled weather goes, we're still going to keep it around for the entire weekend, especially across parts of the Northwest. All thanks to this deep trough that continues to dig out. It's driving that cooler air south. Southward. And then here's our area of low pressure. Now, it will start to lift off to the north and east as we head out on Sunday. But for now, it's still over the region, and it's certainly uh, helping to uh, 
trigger those showers and storms that were that were seen. Flagstaff, we were just in the mid 80s earlier in the week, and we're talking a high of 49 today with rain and storms. Temperatures will begin to moderate a little on Sunday, going up to 60 degrees. And Aspen, we should see some sunshine, so some better weather for you. But Reno clouds and Great Falls, the rain and cool temperatures. Temperatures still ranging 10 to 25 degrees below average through the day on Sunday. So keeping it wet and cool for much of the western U.S. Not looking all that great. Now, Denver, it looks like you'll escape most of the action for this afternoon. And Phoenix, not looking too bad, although our temperatures well below average. You know, this time of year, highs would climb into the mid-90s, but that will not happen today. And to L.A., it was kind of cool and clammy yesterday. And today, maybe with a few breaks of sunshine, we should make it into the mid-60s, around 74 into Seattle. For Sunday, conditions start to improve here across the southwest, at least starting to get rid of more of the cloud cover. However, from Seattle down towards San Francisco, still looks a little little bit wet on your Sunday. Carl? Frigid temperatures and even snow surprised folks in Arizona yesterday and coming up on weekend now we find out what's next in the way of crazy spring weather and strap yourself in for an extreme adventure. We're going zip lining with the road crew. All this and more after your local on the